Hello and welcome to this video about the remote control. Um, I, I've done a few videos about remote controls, but this is quite unlike any other. This comes from my uh, low-end uh, Marantz player called CD40, and I was giving it away with um, Marantz CD63, and um, the guy asked me if it worked. You know, I, was, I was sure it was, and I tested it, but it didn't. So I proceeded to open it up and I failed, at least, well I failed when, when he was here, but um, I later broke into it. You know, I have those tools for opening remote controls and these are used by, it's a part of a hair removal kit, you know, women put cream on their legs and then wait a bit and then scrape it off with that. And it's very good because it has a nice shape, I mean you can open laptops as well with it. Um, and it's very tough, but yet gentle enough not to scratch or, or damage or mark a remote if you if I put it together, no sign of it ever being opened. So why did I have such difficulties? Well, because that particular thing, I think they overestimated the ability of those little recesses to hold it together. And because they were coming apart, they just glued them shut. So that's why it was so hard to actually break the glue. But that's not really a reason to make a video about remote control. Um, well, most remote controls have a board in which there's like a matrix of lines and wherever the intersection of those lines there's a button, you press the button to, to, to short those uh, two lines, that sends the pulse to the chip and that generates a code and uh, that code is being sent by sent out by um, the means of uh, infrared diode. Well, normally there's a rubber membrane with uh, buttons on it and um, with contacts. Not in this one. In this one we have a, like a substrate with buttons, but they don't have any contacts. And to afford them a nice um, spring action, they have another membrane with uh, with those sort of raised, um, don't know what to call them, raised circles or what, what not, they actually provide a bit of springiness. And then there's a third layer, and on that layer, on the uh, transparent film, they put some contacts, they just glue them. So you put all three of them together, what others um, uh, you know, others for that use just a, um, a bit of a rubber uh, a membrane. So uh, what went wrong with it? Well, the moment I turned it over and noticed up the top a 47 micro axial capacitor from Philips, I knew that that's got to be leaky. They're all leaky. So replacing that will fix the remote control. So hard to get break into, but very easy to fix. Well, thank you very much and till the next one.